Hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel. As most of you know, I'm Topher. And for those of you who don't know and just randomly decided to click on my video, welcome to the channel. I'm Topher. Thank you for stopping by. So we're here to do a reaction, and we are diving into the final episode of To My Star. We made it. I didn't plan on binging through the rest of the series here today, but they kept pulling all these cliffhanger endings at the end of episodes, and I just had to, I had to keep going. So we are going to dive into episode 9 at the end of episode 8. We had that beautiful, beautiful moment where we had that, that, that beautiful kiss, and it was just like, yes, praise Jesus. So we just got to see where episode 10, 9, unless, it, is there an episode 10? Surprise. Uh, we have to see where episode 9 takes us and just to see. So we're going to dive on in. Y'all better cook together in these matching, well, not matching sweaters, but whatever. Cook together. Stop it. Wait. Oh. But that 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 분리수거나 똑바로 해. 아, 잠깐만. 잠깐만, 아, 잠깐만. 꿈 같다. 뭐가? 오늘 어떻게 알고 왔어? 사진 찍었던 기자가 알려줬어. 오케이, okay, that's who that. 다잘 끝났으니까 이제 우리만 생각하자. 나 졸려. 너 미쳤냐? 그래 미쳤다. 100억 가진 놈한테 1억 가져가는 게 뭐가 힘든데? 그렇게 당당하게 말하니까 있던 정도 떨어질라 그래. 그래서 돈 쉽게 만지니까 좋아. 만족하냐고. I guess we're gonna guilt him some more. 그래야 되는데. 너도 참. 그큰 돈을 받고도 네가 왜 아직 맴도는지 생각해봐. 다 정리가 됐으면 나한테 전화 같은 건안 했겠지. 
또 여기 왜 오지? 너한테 다시 제대로 물어봐야지. 엄청 이기적인데 너만 괜찮으면 너랑 계속 같이 살고 싶어. 응. 또 너만 괜찮으면 알려줘도 상관없고. 응? 뭘 그렇게 앞서가. 좋으면 계속 같이 가는 거고 아님 아닌 거지. 뭐야 갑자기? 그렇게 튕겨놓고 이제 와서. 또 다치기 싫어서 그랬어. 내가 다치게 한 것도 싫고. 근데 서로 없다고 안 다치는 것도 아니니까. 한주 연애 해봤네. 해봤다니까? 몇 명이랑? 그게 중요해? 중요하지. 난 별로 없는데. 치, 거짓말. 봐봐. 또 가볍게 온다. 어? 나 그럴 때마다 진짜 섭섭해. 상처받는다고. 어. 나는 그냥 표현이 많은 거야. 그게 죄야? Exactly. Don't hurt the puppy. 그래. 그게 네 매력이다. <웃음> 내가 더 잘할게. 사랑하는 사람 만나는 게 얼마나 어려운 건지 잘 아니까. 아 잠깐만. 아너 맨날 빨리 일어서 같이 가. 그나 오늘 네 방에서 같이 자도 돼. I mean I don't mind. 왜? 누구랑 자는 거 싫어해? I mean, girl, that's the mood. <웃음> 잠깐만. 나는 좋아하는데. 나 좋아한다. 아 좋아한다. 아, 아 같이 자자. It's like one of y'all gonna be unhappy with the sleeping situation. Y'all gonna have to figure that out. <웃음> 집은 언제 가려고? 집? 집? 음, 와. <웃음> 아, 뭐야, the question? 지금 가보려고. 뭐야? 한지도 다시 돌아왔어? 보증금 다시 넣을게. 우리 계속 여기 같이 살려고. <웃음> <웃음> 좀 갔다 올게. 왜? 정리는 하러 가야지. 언니 있으면 바로 전화해. 예산이 적은데도 불구하고 서준 씨가 참여해 주신다고 해서 저희 제작진 다 엄청 놀랐어요. 이번에 당연히 봉찬욱 감독님 영화. 해충에 출연하시는 줄 알았는데 아뭐그 작품도 당연히 너무 좋았지만 지금 제가 하고 싶은 이야기는 이 작품에 담겨 있는 것 같아요 아 감사하네요 현장이 쉽진 않겠지만 잘해봤으면 좋겠어요 열심히 준비할게요 저희 소속사 입장에서는 쉽지 않은 결정이었지만 뭐라 먹고 해야지 <웃음> 감독님 잘 부탁드리겠습니다 아 그럼요 잘해봐요 우리. 오케이. Okay. 너 지금 이거 뭐야? 가진 것도 뭐가 그렇게 잘하게? 뭐야 말로. 너는 지금 내가 한대 쳐도 할말 없어요 아직. 이거 봐. 왜안 지냐고. 누가 봐도 내가 더 나은데 넌 뭔데 자꾸 나 거슬리게 하냐고 
Why? Is it because you love him too? Everybody in love with you, Woo? Can <laughs> 예전처럼이 뭔데? 난 그냥 너랑 친해지고 싶었다. 이 레스토랑도 너 아니었으면 내가 어떻게 했겠냐? 지내. This is sad. 어디야? 괜찮아? 왜안 와? 뭔일 있어? <웃음> 너도 잘 지내. 'Cause it's like now, not only does he not have the restaurant like he wasn't gonna have before, but now he's ruined his friendship. <laughs> you better run to your man, baby. Puppy dog. Puppy dog. I've been saying it since like episode two. Now we just need to get somebody for him over here. Chincha. Mm -hmm, that's what I I'm so fucking stressed. You better get away from Seojun and you. And that money, that ain't yours, bitch. I know I fucking messed up everything. <laughs> Who is she? I was about to leave. Right. Let's say it is all my fault. Is that what you want? Well, I do know what you You are a good Wait, 
다시 일하러 왔는데 여기 민석아 너도 내가 만만하냐? These days. Arms back, yes, God. Y'all better kiss. Y'all better go in with these kisses now, yes, God. Oh, now, now, now people want to turn out. Y'all are rude. Every other series, y'all want to sleep with all the lights on. Y'all, y'all can't turn off a damn light to save your life. But now we finally get into the good stuff and y'all want to take out the damn lights. Rude and disrespectful. I feel offended. to the end of another series and honestly that was probably the best ending that I could see for this series. Only thing that makes me sad is um, Jiwoo's former, now former um, co-worker, that whole situation, it just, it makes me sad because I'm like, now we're at this place where you're shutting down the restaurant anyway. So you're not having this income, bank gonna take the restaurant, or whatever it is, whatever the case is, we're shutting down the restaurant. So it's like, basically we're in the situation that you were gonna potentially be in before where you don't have the restaurant, but now you've also ruined your friendship. So you got no restaurant, you have no job, and now you have no friend. And it's like, that makes me sad. That makes me sad for him, because it's like, and he doesn't seem to be getting any kind of resolution by the end of this, series um it just seems like a lot of things are just getting worse and worse and worse for him and it's like this is sad this is sad he he brought these issues on himself he has nobody to blame but himself um i'm not saying that i'm excusing anything that he did but still it's sad you feel, you feel i feel bad for him um but outside of that everybody else got their happy ending um sejun and Jiwoo, they started, you know, the episode by making the, the saffron risotto that he'd been asking about for like six episodes at this point. And they had, you know, just very sweet couple moments. We're cooking together. Oh, you got another zit? Let me pop. He's like, no, back off. Get away from my neck. But, ooh, what's going on with you now? It's okay, baby. We got to take care of that. Let me give you a quick little manicure right quick. And, you know, let me, oh, I'm tired. Let me sleep on your shoulder. And, you know, just 
cute, cute, cuteness between them. And, you know, just the, the, the outdoor conversation, just sweetness, sweetness. He's like, I just wanted to ask you officially, like, hey, can I stay here? Can I, I, I want to stay with you. And, you know, they had, you know, little interactions and, you know, they got some, some things out. He's like, you know, it hurts my feelings when you insinuate that I'm a player, you know. And it's like, you know, don't hurt the puppy. And he's like, you know, I, I was being standoffish and hard to get before because I didn't want to get hurt and I didn't want to hurt you. But obviously we're going to be hurt if we're not together. Um, and then he's like, okay, well, let, 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 let's, let's go to bed. It's like, okay, well, I like to sleep alone. It's like, well, I like to sleep with somebody. I'm, I'm sleeping with somebody. I'm like, okay, well, y'all got to figure something out because maybe you can have, like, alternate nights or something, but somebody's going to be unhappy in this situation. Either you can sleep alone or sleep, I don't know. But uh, ideally, obviously, I want them to sleep together because that, that's, that's just, that's, that's, that's how I like it. Um, and yeah, the interactions when um, Mr. Kim found out about him, um, Ju, Ju Woo coming back and that they're going to be staying together and whatnot. Just that whole little front door interaction. Hilarious. Hilarious, hilarious. And then, you know, we have the breakdown again between Jiwoo and his former co-worker. And just, you know, again, I already talked about how that made me sad. And not really much more I can explore on that. That whole situation is just unfortunate. Um, but then, you know, Jiwoo, he, he rushed home after... All, all those texts that he was getting from Sejun and Sejun just waiting by the door like a puppy dog waiting for him and I've, I've said it since day like day two not day one day two um, that he, he's like a puppy dog he's like a he's like a lost little puppy waiting for wait for his master to come home um, so excited and he's like a cross between a puppy and a child so excited about all the cooking and all the things that he's, he's like look mommy look what I did and just like he's he's so endearing you just want to hug him at all times um, and then we have that last little scene at the restaurant with all these people who I'm like, I don't know who the hell these people are. Maybe they were in the first episode. It's like I said, it's been a few weeks since I watched the first episode, so I don't remember everything. Maybe they were, maybe they were. I don't know who the hell these people are. Like I recognize the one like sort of rich lady customer. Um, um, yeah, I recognize her from the first couple of episodes. Um, but then there was that woman outside who was Who's, I don't know, who seemed to be all in the know and know all the information. Or was she the reporter lady? I don't know. I don't know who she is. Y'all can let me know down there. And then this other guy showed up who I'm guessing was former co-worker who I think, I feel like they mentioned one in the earlier episodes who just wouldn't show up for whatever reason and then that's why they hired some. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm I'm moving past the restaurant. I ain't got time for it. It's it's no longer a fixture. He's already done interviewed, and he starts next week at a new place. And then we just had some cute, cute bed moments where he's like, "Oh, you are a baby. You're a baby." And he's like, "Well, I'm gonna show you a baby. Hop on top." I'm like, "You know what? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's do this." And then they had the little sweet moment with all the sweet little kisses, the forehead kisses, the cheek kisses, the mouth kisses, pin the arms behind the head, Prince Jesus, yes, 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 God. And then he had the nerve, the unmitigated gall, to turn out the lights. So I'm like, you know what? It's I get it. Y'all having a private little moment, but like. This is rude and disrespectful because every other damn series that I have watched, whether it's been Korean, Thai, Filipino, Japanese, whatever it may be, I've probably said the same thing at some point or the other where it's like, I don't understand how people can just sleep fully clothed with all the lights on. Because anytime people are going to sleep, they are fully clothed with blankets and all the lights are on and I'm like, this don't make no sense to me because I'm just a naturally hot person all the time. So I got, I got to sleep with as little clothing as possible. I got like 15 fans on. The most I will sleep with is like a thin sheet on top of me. And even then I'm sticking my legs out at all times because I'm just hot all of the time. Um, so I'm like, I don't see how people do this. And then with the lights on, I'm like, no, I hate lights. It's one of my pet peeves, especially since I became a homeowner however many years ago. That's been one of my pet peeves about leaving lights on in rooms that rooms that aren't occupied or rooms where I'm sleeping like if I have somebody who's in my guest room um, and they fall asleep with the lights on you bet your ass if I see that the first thing I go is go in there and turn off the light because it's just 
electricity, yes, sure, we're preserving the planet and all that kind of stuff, but like, I just don't see the purpose of turning up, for me, like, it heats up the room even more, and then I'm like, no, I don't like it, I don't like it, I like my space, cool, let's just wire all these lights on. So for me, I've made that comment so many times, so like, now, we're finally in a scene where I'm like, okay, yes, let's bathe in all of this light, let's see all of this stuff that's happening, and then y'all gonna shut off the lights and pan to the damn window, I'm like, y'all are rude and disrespectful, but I get it, I get it, it's... It's, it was a beautiful moment nonetheless, beautiful end to the series, I'm very happy where this series ended, I'm happy how this journey um, worked out for the two of them, and while yes I would love to see more, I'd love to see an episode 10, <laughs> I'd love to see more of the aftermath of what's going on in their relationship, you know, this was a great ending for the series, so all in all, just very very good, so I hope... Just, you know, just thank you guys for joining me on another another journey through another series. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. I hope you guys enjoyed this series of reactions. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, turn on notifications so you'll be notified when all my shenanigans get posted. Um, if you'd like to support the channel in other ways, you're more than welcome to join us over on Patreon. You don't have to, but you're more than welcome to if you want to. If there's anything else you'd like me to react to, be sure to leave it down in the comments. I'll get to it as soon as I possibly can. And I'll see you guys in the next series. Love ya. And before you guys go, a shout out to my amazing patrons. I can't begin to express how thankful I am for your support. And if you guys would like to join us over on Patreon, the link is down in the description. I love you guys.